Hello there everybody in YouTube land and welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Today we're going to be talking about all of the different types of unemployment. Throughout this video we're going to be talking about a bunch of different types of unemployment. We'll be going into frictional unemployment, structural unemployment, cyclical unemployment, seasonal unemployment, and technological unemployment. While watching the video, make sure to use the guided notes. You can find them in the description below. I created the notes to go along with the video and to help you study. Hopefully these notes help you and make sure that you understand all the important information. So let's start now with our first type of unemployment, which is going to be frictional unemployment. Now, frictional unemployment can never be fully eliminated from a society, and we will always have it present in society. Now, this isn't a bad thing. Frictional unemployment can actually be a good thing. Frictional unemployment happens when people are between jobs. So in our country, in the United States, and in many, many countries around the world, you have the right to be able to change jobs when you want to. Companies can't hold you hostage there. You have the flexibility to go somewhere else. This makes job markets more competitive and make sure that companies are treating their employees correctly. And at the same time to make sure that employees can be happy and they're doing something they enjoy. So we always will have frictional unemployment because there's always people who will be looking for a new job. We also have frictional unemployment because we'll always have a younger generation graduating from college, high school, and moving into the workforce where there'll be that period where they're searching. So frictional unemployment may never be eliminated from society, but that's not a bad thing because this is showing that people are able to change jobs, go to some place they want to be. And it's also showing that we are having a younger generation come into the workforce. So all you have to remember for frictional unemployment, we'll always have it. It's not necessarily a bad thing. And frictional unemployment is this time in between jobs when people are deciding to quit a job or enter the market and they're then getting hired at a new company. The next type of unemployment is structural unemployment. Now, unlike frictional unemployment, structural unemployment is a little bit bigger of a deal. This can have some pretty lasting impacts. Structural unemployment happens when we see a major shift in the economy. When we see old skills that people used to have are no longer relevant. This can happen based on consumer tastes or expectations changing, or even the government can unintentionally cause this. This will affect a lot of people. And this unemployment is going to see major fundamental changes in an industry. One example of this is I used to be a shift manager at a movie store. It was Mr. Movies. Many of you probably have never heard of it. There was a complete change in the market for renting movies. Redbox and Netflix came about and they offered cheap deals. This put a lot of the blockbusters, Mr. Movies, Hollywood, all out of business because the consumers changed. There was no longer a demand for that industry. As more people went to online, streaming, eventually when YouTube became big, there was an entire shift. Other things can happen as well that could cause this. I mentioned earlier the government could cause this. The government has unintentionally caused structural unemployment when doing certain deals with other countries. For example, when we passed NAFTA, the United States that is we, we actually put a lot of Mexican farmers out of business. They couldn't compete. The market had completely shifted. We were able to outsource all of our corn down to Mexico, they wouldn't be able to compete with our low prices and we put them all out of business. So there is different things that can cause structural unemployment. This is more long lasting and has a bigger impact on society. All the people that got unemployed, for example, at the movie store had to find different jobs. The Mexican farmers had to find a different career path as well. So this is more of a permanent thing and can cause lasting issues if not dealt with accordingly. Up next, we have cyclical unemployment. Now, cyclical unemployment connects directly to the business cycle. If you don't know what I'm talking about with the business cycle, make sure to check out my video on the business cycle. I'll explain and break it all down. But what's happening here is cyclical unemployment is following essentially the market. The business cycle, at least all you need to know for right now, is that it's going to go through a bunch of series of expansions and contractions where we're seeing growth and then a possible recession or a decline. 
Now, what happens during these times is people change their purchasing habits. So cyclical unemployment could happen when we are currently experiencing a downtrend in economic growth or a recession and people start to save their money. They're no longer purchasing some of the normal goods or expensive goods. And so companies will lay off employees until the market turns around and they can start hiring more people. So they will hire more people when we're seeing economic booms and when we're seeing an expansion in the economy. And then when things start to slow down, they'll start laying off workers because they no longer have that demand for that extra productivity since we're seeing changes in consumer spending. Now, this is not structural. These jobs aren't going away forever. And it's not frictional where you're going to a different job. This unemployment is connected directly to the business cycle. That's the important thing for the cyclical unemployment. You're going to see the up and the down and the up and the down. It's like the roller coaster ride. So try to remember that. Cyclical roller coaster ride, frictional between jobs, and structural, we have an issue here. This is being phased out, or there is some policy that has caused a major problem within a market or within a certain industry. Next, we have seasonal unemployment. Now, this is different than cyclical unemployment. Cyclical unemployment is going with the business cycle and it's going with the economy. The cyclical unemployment could last from three to five years. It could last a long time because recessions may happen and that's hard to fix. Seasonal though is connected to the weather or the time of the year. Mall Santas, perfect example of seasonally unemployed. Their job is only existing around Christmas time. When I was in high school, I also, besides working at Mr. Movies, worked at Party City. I did the Halloween displays there. So that was a seasonally employed job. It only existed for a little bit. A lot of college students are seasonally unemployed as they'll come back just for the summer and then they will leave to go back to school. So this connects to certain times, the weather, and changes. And so jobs for here all connect to a date on a calendar. And unemployment will happen throughout the year. And it again connects back to not the person, not the whole industry being phased out, but to the actual season. Hence, seasonally unemployed. The last type of unemployment we're gonna talk about today is technological unemployment. This is the big issue today with the United States and many countries. They're trying to figure out what to do here. Automation and more and more focus on technology have actually started to replace a lot of workers. Amazon recently announced the Amazon Go Store, which no longer needs cashiers. You walk in, you scan your phone, you put whatever you want in your basket, and you walk out. It'll automatically charge you. That's going to eliminate a lot of jobs as this technology starts to catch on. You've already also seen this probably in your day-to-day -day lives. When you go to Target or Walmart or a high V, they have self-checkout lines. Those used to be people's jobs. Now you can have one person who will watch maybe five checkout lines instead of having to have five employees. So technological unemployment happens as we start to see more of a focus on using machines, AI, and automation to produce our products and to take over the jobs that used to be run by people. This can be a really hard trend to reverse, and we've seen that today in the United States. We have pockets of our country that have really been struggling with this as jobs have left their market and they have nothing else to do, as more and more things have been switched over to automation. And eventually, governments will have to figure out what to do about this. Some have even suggested that we need to tax automation to try and level the playing field. Only time will tell what will happen with this unemployment and if we'll continue to see more issues with technology replacing humans. Who knows, maybe the robot takeover is just around the corner. All these types of unemployment happen throughout society and it's going to always be occurring. We are constantly trying to get as close as we can to full employment. For most economists, it's around 4.5%. Anything under that is considered fully employed. Remember, we're always gonna have frictional unemployment, so you'll never have a 0% because there's always gonna be people going between jobs, and that's healthy for the economy. Now, I hope this helped you better understand all the different types of unemployment. Make sure to check out my other video, which will actually explain how to find unemployment and get into some of the numbers of calculating out these different rates. I'm Mr. Sin. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped. Make sure to subscribe and support the channel. And until next time, I'll see you online.